as someone who was born and raised in America, where the World Trade Center were recently destroyed, I can say without hesitation that every day is 9-11 for the animals in laboratories. And on factory farms, and on fur farms, and in zoos and circuses, everywhere that our brothers and sisters are exploited because humans can and continue to do so. As a practicing physician and a surgeon in the United States, I've spent the last 20 years of my life trying to save my patients from death and disease, most of which they get because of what they eat, what they smoke, and what they drink. I see myself as an ethical but a scientific physician, and I've spent 20 years trying to save my patients from the death and disease that results from wasting billions of taxpayer dollars on animal research, making animal laboratories and animal testing facilities rich while human beings continue to suffer and die. With all the money that's been wasted, and I repeat, wasted, on animal experimentation over the last half a century, cancer and cancer deaths are up. Stroke is up. Death is up. Heart disease, up. Diabetes, up. Obesity, way up. All the most common illnesses that humans get sick from and die from in our society have risen in incidence. This is a direct result of the greed, the lies, the fraud, the corruption, and the scientifically invalid practice of vivisection. There are right now 20,000 children dying for lack of access to clean water every single week in the world. While these disgusting vivisectors and companies like Huntington spend money that could save these children's lives on its egregious, outdated, and invalid test that should have been banned years ago. There are right now thousands of adults and children alike starving to death every day so that vivisectors can masquerade as scientists and companies like Yamanuchi can continue to get rich and powerful. Right now, 40 million people in the United States are without basic health care because our government representatives are corrupt, misguided, and care only about the money funneled to them by the pharmaceutical lobbyists. Right now, millions of people around the world are dying slow, debilitating, and anguished deaths because we have an incomplete paradigm in developed nations as to what encompasses a modern, ethical, and valid research that really would save the lives of millions of people and offer us a quality of life that most people today can only dream about. Let me give you, if I can, a little insight into the average vivisector. I myself was a vivisector until 16 years ago. I experimented on animals. Most vivisectors are not physicians, like myself, who take care of patients every single day. Instead, they're greedy and misinformed people like Colin Blakemore, who never made it through medical school, but instead chooses to stitch kittens' eyes shut and then try to convince the public that this fraudulent work is worthwhile. Six it is not. Oh! It's unequivocally. Oh! Blaymore's work is unequivocally worthless to humans in any way, shape, or form. If Colin Blakemore or Brian Cass from HLS or any of their friends ever came into my operating theater and saw what I deal with every single day, they would fame. <laughs> Brian Cass is an accountant, for God's sake. Yet he has the audacity to tell the media that his company, Huntington Life Sciences, cares about animals and wants to help people. He simply has no idea what he's talking about. He's a businessman, he's not a doctor. I care for 
patient. And what goes on at Huntington will never, ever, ever help my patients or anyone else's patients. Uh -huh. sectors are a fraud and they're wasting the money that should be spent on people living healthier lives. They may have been able to manipulate the media. They may have been able to manipulate the media their way in the past. But with groups like Shaq and Speak and others like that in the UK, they're being taken to task for their disgusting lies and manipulations and are now being exposed for the liars that they really are. I have long offered, along with my colleague, Dr. Ray Green, who's been here before as well, to debate these silly men and others like them. And even after being presented with enough evidence and data to fill Westminster Abbey, they continue to insist that animal research is helping save human lives. But it's not, we know it's not. It's directly harming and killing humans by the thousands every day. These pseudoscientists refuse to debate us. And when we do beg them and trick them into debating us, they use the same old lies, the same old exaggerated claims, the same old rhetoric they've used for years. Because they cannot argue, they cannot argue the fact that in 2004, animal experimentation is the worst possible strategy for curing human disease or promoting human health. Yeah. Never lose sight of the fact that animal research should be now and will be relegated to the dark ages, just like slavery and other immoral and illegal practices that were justified for thousands of years. Each of the struggles in our past have been won through hard work, sacrifice, determination, and tenacity. It's up to you to relegate animal experimentation to this dark footnote in the annals of modern medicine. <laughs>